if they love to read, they're gonna have an advantage. And who doesn't love to read? And, and that is uncle a... already pointing out harsh, awkward truths. Why is there only one bed? <laughs> I don't think we want to answer that question, but it is a very poignant question indeed. Yeah, uh, and so, uh, you know, maybe it's just really cold in Hyrule, and they have to conserve warmth. You know, I'm not here to judge. Wow, we we both get a map check. All right, so that was a, a blue pendant in Eastern, and that's all I saw. Uh, I think the two other recurs. I saw one crystal at least, and then I'm not sure if it was two pendants or two crystals. There was also a, a, a route divergence very early on where Pink went to the right side of the house while Sin went to the left side. Very important. Yeah. It costing <laughs> costing all of a second or two. Yes. And while get Ooh. out your parachute pants because it is hammer time. Indeed. Also, actually I wanna I haven't done this before, I wanna try this. So if anyone wants pink to win, let's let's hear in chat for pink. Just wanna see if we got any pink fans here. And then, of yeah, course, man. if we want Sinha to win, let's hear it out for Sinha in chat. Uh, nothing's happening in chat. This is not working. Ah, oh, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, the, the hype levels must be maintained. Oh, no, no. It's just a delay. I see it now. I see it now. Yes, go chat. Okay, awesome. <laughs> Excellent. I'm good, at, so... I'm good at creating fake hype and then falling flat on the, on the nose afterwards. But it's fine. It's fine. No, it's good. It's uh, it's we're just gonna we're gonna keep the bit of fake hype going throughout this commentary. And actually, Indeed. speaking of real actual hype, um, the bomb hunt has already ended for uh, Cine. So, so if you were if you were rooting for Cine when I did the the hype there, you know he's already gonna win now. So you you got that in the box. Um. Oh, and I'm just gonna say he now, but I should be a little. Bit, so is uh, are they both? Is Pink uh, a lady? You know? Ah, yes. PKR. Feminine Okay. Alright. Yeah, okay, okay. We just call her PKR. Did did that... It looked like one of the guards just disappeared. That was weird. Maybe I just saw it on my monitor. Anyway, but yes, you are very right. There is, uh, there is such a thing as a bomb hunt. They're gonna need at least one bomb for the room towards the end of escape. And I can't talk anymore because we just found the moon pearl. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, that's a pretty nice find. Um, you know, anything that you get in escape is is forced upon both runners, so there's no like decision making at that point. So, but when you get early moon pearl, it makes you feel a little bit better about like maybe going to South Shore first because you can you can fake flippers. You already know that that setup is guaranteed. And oh, PKR gets her um, gets her uh, bomb drop there, which is nice. So that evens things out for both runners here. Oh, that sink! Oh, so close. And using the hammer, hammer is a really nice early weapon to have. It does temper sword damage, so that's like three sword upgrades in one weapon. Unfortunately, though, it has a messy hitbox, so it can be a little bit tricky to use. But when you hit it, it hits really hard. Yeah, agreed. It does basically temper sword damage for the most part. But yeah, it's the it's the hitbox that's the tricky part, uh, specifically yeah. the hitbox when you're going uh, when you're attacking north south. True. It's a little they... bit wider when you're going left or right. Yeah, and also, like you said, for the most part, because there is, I, I think every damage thing in this game is looked up in tables and stuff, so it's a little bit, it's like some weapons do extra damage versus some bosses and, and back and forth. It's kind of complicated how much damage weapons actually do in this game. Uh, it's actually the same for armor, too, because it's not like linear how much armor, like how much damage armors absorb from various sources of damage. It, it can get pretty specific. In other words, if you really want to be a big Zelda nerd, this is your chance to shine. You I feel like if you're watching a, a randomized tournament of a Zelda <laughs> game with alternate sprites, you're you're probably a Zelda nerd. I feel like we're, that's a pretty good assumption. We're already there, basically. If it was possible to fall into that right pot that they just passed, they would actually fall straight into the Ganon fight. Uh, yep, I have seen um, I have seen I have seen uh, ROM hacks that employ that. Yes, you have the the category defeat Ganon as well. That was actually a record that was newly beaten by poor little Pinkus. So he used they used a glitch to get down there to get fast into the Ganon fight. Sorry, enough about that. Uh, they can they don't really have to. Oh, I was gonna say they don't have to kill any ropes, but they're still gonna maybe farm for that second or bomb or maybe some more money. Uh, yeah, it's an nice extra bomb extra going into Kakariko is nice, or at least a little extra money because. Both these runners are going to be at zero bombs when they leave escape if they don't find anything else. 
So taking a couple extra seconds to hit some clustered up uh, snakes or rats or whatever, just fishing for either more money or bombs, um, can clean up your Kakariko routing just a little bit. Indeed. So we're getting we're getting close to uh, what do we call this room with the three chests? Does it have a name? Um, stupid rat with key RNG is annoying. I hate it. Room. No, I was thinking about this this room right here that they're right now. Oh, eight bomb oh, drop. That's very nice. The eight bomb drop. That is huge. That is a really nice pickup. So that's going to mean that Cine is not going to have to like run around and deal with searching for more bombs. And also picking up the bottle in the back of escape means uh, that Kakarika routing is going to be even more convenient because now you don't have to worry about like fitting sick kid into your route later. You can just do it all at once. Can you imagine what it would be like in real life if you dropped eight bombs and it was just one bomb with the number eight on it? That was kind of like, and that actually worked. That'd be kind of weird. I I would assume that would be like some kind of power level, like. Like if you had a bomb that had a two on the side and a bomb that had an eight on the side, I would I would just assume you would get a larger explosion out of the eight bomb. But maybe but that's you, what they want you to think. But then you pick it up and suddenly have eight bombs in your hand. Like, whoa, how did that happen? That's <laughs> black magic. Also, I would wonder about how uh, everybody has elf ears and how uh, um, you know bombs are magically appearing when I kill rats. The suspension also- of uh, disbelief is uh, pretty incredible. And why people keep things in pots they have to break all the time. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> we are going to see some divergence here. We're, we're PKR. Yeah, sorry. Um, it's going to check Lumberjack Cave while Cine is going just straight into um, the forest. It has a better name. I'm so bad with names sometimes. It is the Lost Woods, my friend. Thank you. I was lost for words for finding... Word to describe <laughs> this one. Nice. Oh. Good work. Good work. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm wondering if PKR is like I wonder if she's going up here um, because she doesn't have any bombs, uh, unlike her opponent who got some right at the end of escape, and also doesn't have any money. So I think the added incentive of checking the pull trees and um, looking at the like an extra chance at the bush crab um, that might have been the reason enough for for her to consider going up here as opposed to just skipping lumberjack. Yeah, but she is and rewarded she... by the bombs, so that decision will pay off, I guess. I can see someone like sitting at the side of side of the road in this game. Like, I have no money, I have no bombs. Please help me. But yeah, she found it. She she worked it out for herself. She didn't need help for anyone from anyone else. Um, so she is going to be a little bit behind uh, her opponent, but um, does have the added knowledge of knowing that the lumberjack tree is useless. So that that won't be something that will be, you know, in the back of your mind, bothering you as you race. So they already have the hammer. There's nothing in Lumbra Cave. Already, Agai is not looking pretty hot, but it's still not dead though. Uh, not a whole lot in Blind's Hut. Looks like we got ourselves um, a Swirly Coin. I don't know what the funny name for Bombos is. I got I got names in in my pocket for the other ones, but let's go ahead and call it Swirly Coin. Oh, you should learn from Big John, man. He has crazy names for all the medallions. Oh, why did nice. he call Bombos again? Uh, I did a cast with him once, but it's like the first cast I ever did. It's so long ago, and I uh, I don't remember. He had a crazy name for it. Um, uh, we'll yeah, I was actually well here. I was actually thinking about Aga and oh, Boots is very nice. It's gonna be a fast scene. Yeah, um, eight minute Boots is pretty clutch. Yeah, they would. I guess they would. The, if the power glove is on pyramid or something. Oh wow! All sorts. Of- oh, holy crap! Oh, holy crap! Wow! So that- somebody put his uh, all his good stuff in the well. That was uh, what boots, flippers, and uh, flute all at once. Every single transportation mode in one place. That is so cool. I don't think I've ever seen that before. I think this may be a plan, though. I'm not sure. If only, man. And we're and we're being treated to a nine-minute swag duck anthem, which is always enjoyable. It's a tearing man in the corner of my eye right now for that. So yeah, the, um, one, the one downside, though, the the seed is giving them all kinds of items, but uh, they are short on rupees uh, unless they get some money from one of these last few chests in Kakariko. Um, they're gonna have to either route in the bottle vendor later or consider going in on a blinds house twice, which takes a crap load of time. They could maybe trade the flute for some money. You go go to the back of the bar and. And, and play yeah. some songs, try to get some tips. And yeah, that would actually... Yeah, they don't even have to sell the flute, then. They can just play for the audience. There's all sorts of things you can do in this game that people don't know about. 
Uh, to to be uh, to be clear though, you don't actually get money by going in the back of the bar and playing the flute. Although that would oh. be pretty sweet. Oh, a bottle for the belt can. <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny, but if if that yeah. had been uh, like a good beat, you could have sold it for a hundred bucks. That'd have been pretty sweet. <laughs> See, we know so much about the black market in Hyrule. We got we got it all covered, guys. All right, so, so blue mail is always a pretty nice pickup early in the game, although they're already at five hearts pretty quick. Actually, right, time, to, time to see if the library uh, was was uh, predictive of anything from all the books in the seed. It looks like it was not. Indeed, it wasn't. But I just realized that we took a fairy from the sick kid. That's she could have healed him instead. You know, that was pretty bad. Well, I guess the downside is, though, he has to die before he gets healing with a fairy in a bottle. So, you know, maybe he's not ready to put his life in the hands of the fairy. <laughs> I, was, I did not think about that. When you said he has to die, I was like, wait, what? That went dark really fast. But then it's like, yeah, that's the logic. Yes, that makes sense. No, I'm not, I'm not like, pro-killing children. I, I feel like I need to be, you know, very, <laughs> yeah, very clear on that point, sir. <laughs> Sir, that is that is completely understandable. All right, so we find a heart at the race game, which is very nice at this point. It's no progression or anything, but but it's very nice. And having the flute, we can oh do cool riding like this and find a sword at the ledge, which is taunting us because we cannot reach it. Yeah, no, uh, no, uh, mirror and mitts or uh, book of Medora, but it's nice to know where that is because sword can't be progression, uh, especially the first one. I, I'm going to make a prediction there. That sword is actually going to be our tempered sword. That's a bold prediction. I thought you were going to say something crazy and be like, yeah, that sword's going to be the sword you required for Aghanim. <laughs> okay, it wasn't that crazy then. But... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's crazy, that's just mean. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But that's just where my brain goes. <laughs> oh, well. Interesting that both of these runners, uh, maybe it's because they had boots, um, opted to do the uh, like the race game without checking it first. Yeah, because it's not like they can say we didn't find anything in Kakariko, so it's probably something's going to be here, because they did find a lot of things. Like, oh, what is going on? Wow. This seed is just handing them everything. So a uh, mini Molorm cave is going to have Hookshot, Red Cane, and Fire Rod, and Gloves. <laughs> <laughs> it, will, it will be Echo Mode in 13 minutes. <laughs> yes. Oh, we're going to need Mitz, though, maybe. We don't Ooh, know. Uh, powder is powder's a really interesting find, yes. uh, especially early in the game when you have Hammer, because that means Magic Bat is in play, which is not often the case. Also, it's worth noting uh, PKR just set up a Water Walk. Uh, if I and it looks like she got it if I saw the correct yep she did can you please enlighten me on this glitch this is one of those glitches I've not really fully comprehended yet well, sure I don't, I don't know the the specific details of it but uh, if you have the boots you can I think you have to adjust the camera or you do something you saw that she pushed against the um, the like the pits and the and the side of the ice rod cave if you yeah, I saw she left the cave in a weird way, and I thought she was just doing something weird and fancy, and I didn't understand that it was for this this trick right here. Ah, yep, very true. But, I mean, she's got flippers, so uh, the only reason to do that is that water walking is faster than actually swimming. Mm -hmm. um, and honestly, the, I like the routing here from, from both of these runners. Um, PKR is doing Ice Rod Cave because with boots and flute, Ice Rod Cave is never really going to get faster than it is now. So getting it out of the way uh, and, and doing the water walk while you're there is a good way to kind of increase your movement speed in the overworld and get some time back. So, so we, did, we did find a cave. Just want to just wanna say that. <laughs> not, not saying, I'm just saying. Well, you know, I don't yeah. get worried about Aghanim until I find the lantern. Oh yeah, true. You got lantern. Then you're going to need lantern and a sword and then nothing else. For Aga to be interesting. Well, they could find the ice rod or something, but nothing like not no gloves or anything. But yeah, they're only a glove away from Dark World Axis. Yep, and we saw uh, Sinny setting up for the exact same uh, water walk there. Oh, I oh gets hit by the crab though. Oh, that that rinse it. I feel I'm such a good commentator. Wait, what does this do? How does oh, this work? Oh no no oh. no, the, it doesn't ruin it. It just 
you got hit by crabs. <laughs> oh yeah, it just sucks crabs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, I, I feel like I need to be clear on that point. <laughs> yes, you should. You should. If you have the option to have or not have crabs. I feel like, you know, unless you're about to, you know, enjoy a delicious crab meal. But enough about that. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I that was fairly clarifying, thank you. <laughs> Probably too much clarification. If you could yes. clarify a little bit less for me, that would be great. <laughs> yes, we want to keep it a little more diffuse. What is P key? Oh, she, she knows the, the coordinates to, yeah, okay, never mind. Yeah, oh, it looks like the, they're cool. both covering ground that they each did in a slightly different order. Um, but uh, Sydney is maintaining the slight lead um, that he already had going into you know, into this, just from the uh, skipping lumberjack tree and a few other things. Can you not go through the whirlpool while you are in water walk glitch? Uh, well, once you uh, use it and go out of it, it's gone, so he, they just jump right back in after they flute. Okay, okay, fair enough. Uh, also worth noting that uh, Sydney is heading up here. Okay, well, there's there's the sword, number one, so you could still technically be correct. Alright. Sorry, I just looked away for a split second and suddenly has a sword, but I assume it was waterfall uh, for K. Uh, you assume correctly, sir. <laughs> Thank you. It's the only assumption I could oh, make. Wow. Oh, what was... What was that? What was that? I didn't see it. Hook shot on the on the ledge. You gotta be kidding so, me! Rewarded for rewarded for going to Zora without Zora money, which is always a little dangerous. Well, I bet Zora's got nothing. Let's just put it that way. When you get everything else all around it. And oh, and they, they hadn't had money for the for the vendor until now. Yeah, that's an interesting find for us, Hini, for sure, because. You know, going to Death Mountain with, uh, you know, with the hook shot is not a terrible move. Oh no! And the hammers, you can do, uh, you can do Hera too. Uh, but I do. Uh, Pinky. But he's not going to do that. <laughs> yeah, he's doing pretty solid routing over here with that powder we mentioned being kind of conspicuous. Yes. But it oh, ends up not somewhere. being relevant though. Hey, man, is always nice. But I wonder if Sinny is saying, you know, I've got, I've got all this progression to go to Death Mountain and a few other things, um, but putting off places like Sahashala's Garage for too long early game could be a little risky, because if your opponent goes here and there's some kind of crazy progression that was pretty easily available, uh, you could be hosed. So That's since he true. has the bow, uh, you know, he's over here, why not do it? But it is a pendant dungeon. Yeah, he is leaving. I like, I like, I, while well, it is a pendulous, he's probably not doing it, like, right as he presses the flute button. It's like, yeah, no, I don't think he's doing See, it anyway. <laughs> my, my commentary strategy to avoid being wrong is to uh, ramble on about all possibilities so it sounds like I'm smart, <laughs> and then only commit to something while they're in the process of doing it, thus proving my point. You are very wise, sir. I, I feel like I've revealed too much, though. <laughs> the garage contains some money and a human heart, which is kind of disturbing, but oh well. Yeah, Sahashwala is, um... You gotta watch that guy. Yeah, yeah. So it's gonna be interesting to see when uh, Pink is gonna head over to Zora area because we know that's a sword there, and getting a sword at this point is quite nice. Yeah, it looks look like it looks like she's heading over to Easter. Oh, let's not forget about that. What is uh, okay? So every single like weird offshoot location they're checking, even if it's not progression, it's like a it's like a bottle with with red goo it's half magic it's cape they're like they're getting good cool things everywhere it like where's the where's the arrow upgrades where's the boring stuff yeah i well there's some right there there we go oh thank goodness <laughs> so yeah pkr is going to be uh in perhaps a little bit of trouble unless there's some sweet progression here in uh, eastern palace She's uh, she's kind of hoard some rupees there it seems. We have that rupee room. Uh, well, it is a dark room, but um, yeah. Well, is the rupee room itself also dark? Yeah, I think it is. Uh, it is, yes. Yeah, so it's gonna be a little bit more tricky uh, because you don't usually go in there uh, at dark. <laughs> Sounds I'm like assuming, it's scary. Yeah, I'm assuming that that was her her plan was that I'm going to do this uh, and get the rupees in the back so I could do Zora all at once. Mm -hmm. And you know, because she didn't follow the flippers right oh, away. Oh, we found oh, wow, the lantern. lantern. We oh, have God. everything. We have. We technically have dark relaxes now. Uh, if 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 you do aga, of course. 
full agonim. I'm gonna throw up. That's gross. And, like, and they have so many other things, but they don't, they're actually, oh wow, fire. Fire rod and bow, this early. Actually, I think that was ice and rod. And shot. Yeah, I meant, I meant ice rod. And, and, and I still meant it, because ice rod and bow are usually those two items you never find, like, you know what I mean? And and also hookshot sometimes can be really trolly, and they found all three of them. Like, what items are there left to be troll? I guess a medallion, maybe. Early, early oh, ice rod always makes me think that the turtle rock is not required, but it's so hard to tell. Yeah, yeah. This is they're just handed everything. It's like here, take all this, take all this stuff, and go beat the game. What's well, those kind of seeds there? can be. I didn't. Did you catch what was on the floating island there? I did not. Yeah, it was just a. It was just a big twenty. Got it. Well, it wasn't. But yeah, the, these types I of seeds with yeah. like large amounts of progression available early can be kind of risky because if you have a lot of things and a lot of paths to follow for progression, uh, it can make the game really swingy and super interesting because it comes down to how efficient your routing is and and how lucky your guesses are. Indeed. It's no by no means easy just because you're getting a lot of items. Yeah, it's all it's all meaningless until you're in go mode. <laughs> well, maybe yes. meaningless is a strong word, but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we're all gonna oh, die holy... eventually anyway. What's the point of finding more <laughs> items? <laughs> Nihilism uh, randomizer here. <laughs> existential crisis. Uh, yeah, it's wonderful. Exactly. Yeah. No, that's uh, a that's excellent a... use of uh, hookshot there to uh, speed up the beetle room in Hera. Also, the shovel's been found, so that's like, that's, I think, every single fetch quest we have. So, well, we haven't seen the bumper ledge, so we don't know if Cape is necessary, but... Powder? Well, no, okay, so Mushroom... Mushroom's the only fetch quest left now that I haven't found, actually. That's insane. Uh, yeah, Pinky I love... Rose had some bad luck with the uh, Dark Room there. Um, the tentacle enemies were not playing very nice, but... She did eventually manage to get up uh, into that Dark Room, uh, like you suggested. Picking up cash money dollar bills. Oh, she's listening to reason. I'm glad to see that. Alright, hopefully she can get out of this room and not die to the anti-fairies. I knew Oh, I knew what something was called in this game. Woo! Nailed it. <laughs> so, I, feel, I feel good about that. You know that's uh, that uh, item in the currency is called rubies. I don't know if you do that. Oh, oh no. Oh, yeah. wow. Yes, virtual high five here through the microphone. Alright, well, so, uh, this is uh, going to be a pretty big uh, moment for uh, Pink Kitty Rose, because if Eastern Palace does not have anything on Armos Knights here, uh, she'll have spent a ton of time uh, getting basically nothing except for rupees for Zora. Yeah, it's not the best. Oh, and she's going to have to fight this room without a sword, which is always, always interesting. What, what is the weapon of her? It's going to be Hammer. Oh, and wow, that was very efficient. Yeah, hammer works out pretty well if you don't have a sword. Yeah, if you can get the double hits. I didn't even know you could do that. I sound like such a noob. Anyway. <laughs> so that was a crystal... I, I mean, oh, yeah. Sorry, sorry. No, you're not a noob, buddy. <laughs> I, I, was, I was late on the recovery there. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I didn't mean to leave you hanging. <laughs> I didn't. I, was, I, wasn't, I wasn't fishing for a compliment. Oh, that was... Hey, I was right about the sword! Well, uh, have... my only hope now is that they'll find yet another sword, and that will end up being another sword. No, no, don't do this to me. No, you only get to be right once for commentary. That's how it works. <laughs> okay, crap! I didn't know. This is a rough. This is a rough crowd. Uh, tell you what, it's, it's tough. Well, so <laughs> I, I wonder if I wonder if Pink Kitty Rose is like, man. I wonder if that was the only sword for progression. So She's gonna that... find out pretty quickly that that's not true when she gets uh, Master Sword from uh, the Waterfall Wishing there. Indeed, and also that means that this cape that they found is kind of misleading because they didn't really need it, if the, even if they have to do Aga. Uh, true, although I would uh, much rather use the cape than spend all that time going, uh, you know, going through Eastern Palace Pennant for, uh, you know, yeah, the Master Sword. If I was, if yeah. I were to do Aghanim, that is, and I just, so we... I feel angry just saying that. <laughs> Now, so Sina, we know that there's no progression in uh, Eastern. So that means that Sina, if he goes other places first, uh, he may never go to Eastern. So he may, he may never get that sword. Isn't that yeah, sad? Yeah, very, very possible. <laughs> um, he, yeah, I think doing 
doing um, the Mad Bat here is uh, smart by uh, Cine because that is just, it's too conspicuous not to check out. Uh, meanwhile, Pink Kitty Rose, uh, her one one chance at saving time from that Eastern Palace play was if Zora had something important, um, but that is unfortunately not the case. Seems like Zora and uh, Shalafla's Garage got something in common. The, they both have severed human organs for sale? <laughs> well, one has it for sale, the other one's for Luton, but yeah. Oh yeah, that's I true. I don't know which one's worse, to be honest. No, no they're, they're both pretty gross. <laughs> I don't know if we have to rank them. We can just say that they're gross. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. We don't have to rank them. Okay, so la where, yeah, Lantern's up on the mountain. So uh, Pink's gonna have to do this one dark as well. Where does Cine go from here? I guess he's maybe Bunkrox? Didn't he do Bunkrox earlier? Or maybe that was Pink who did that. I, oh, that, that was uh, PKR who did that. Yeah, it could, yeah, she has another bottle. I think a bottle was in there because... Correct. God, for God forbid there be anything completely useless in a random place. Yeah, why, why, why would you get anything you want in this game ever? We're back to nihilism. <laughs> so, uh, it's gonna be, it's gotta, gonna be uh, the theme here. of this cast, back to nihilism again. I have a feeling he's gonna check Lumberjack before he flutes, and that it appears to be the case. Yeah, uh, he's got that, everything he needs to. This tells me that to. he's probably thinking Aghanim and not thinking Pendant Eastern. Yeah, so that makes sense. When you have Boots and Aghanim, like, s stuff, oh, I'm so good with words. Then you want to check Lumberjack Cave. <laughs> when when items have make stuff do, yeah, item is make do. Fine. <laughs> thank you, you for that. What I meant. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for that wonderful par paraphrasing. There. <laughs> no, I'm just trying to make you not feel alone, buddy. Oh wow, is this an <laughs> Eastern play? No, it's a negative play. Yeah, there we go. I thought so, I saw him hit five, but that was that was not the case. Well, honestly, I think this is just pretty smart reading of the seed. Um, you're definitely taking a chance by not going to Eastern Palace, especially when the seed gives you both the bow and the lantern. I mean, yeah. that's a little conspicuous looking. Um, but the seed also went out of its way to give you um, cape and lantern and a sword for Aghanim. So um, I think and this is Cine just kind of playing the numbers. And also everything you need after you beat an Aghanim. You have like, you have the Moon Pearl, you have like, yeah. So um, I'm just wondering, do we know that Aggo is required? Do is there something that both of them haven't checked that they can't check? Um, I think they both got everything. Zora yeah. was the one outlier that yeah. uh, Sine missed. Uh, and Pink Kitty Rose did that and full cleared Eastern. And was only rewarded by one extra sword upgrade. Yeah. Yeah, so I think Aga is required for the seed. So of all for all the Jedi items and everything, they, they do have to go Aga. But I think that's a fair price to pay for everything they've been given. Oh, and it's, you know, it's not over yet. They've got most likely a Fire Rod and Amir and Samaria, and, and they have zero gloves. They have uh, unprotected naked hands that, that are just cold in that Death Mountain wind, unprotected. So they got to find gloves. <laughs> With my cold, dead hands. Okay, yeah, no, no, sorry, though, not that. Yeah. <laughs> They're going to be strangling items from this seed one way or another. <laughs> You can't get All as right. good a grip, you know, without without the power gloves or the mitts. True. Now, I, I I failed to understand the logic behind having a set of gloves outside your already set of gloves to make you fat to make it easier to pick up things. Maybe maybe it's like the Infinity Gauntlet, where uh, the 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 mitts are just like a like a, an attachment to the already existing power glove. Oh, I would love I would love for that to be real. So they're, they're not looking for crystals. They're looking for infinity stones. That, that's the new alternate mode for Triforce Hunt. Yes. Oh yeah, we can't use setting up for the uh, the hookshot grab of the key. Um, if your timing is right and the guard is far enough north when that key drops, you can grab it with a hookshot, even though it's through the little metal bar there. But the timing's pretty tight, so uh, he didn't unfortunately miss it. How embarrassing! It's cool when it works though. Actually, I didn't even know you could do that. I just, I just knew you usually couldn't. <laughs> I'm so good with words today. All right, so we got Pink Kitty Rose uh, heading up. They'll, she'll probably be finishing off Boulderum right around the same time. Uh, City is uh, in the middle of uh, hopefully not a lot of blue balls on Aghanim. Yeah. So uh, after this fight, uh, Pink will will go to Aga, and then. 
uh, so she's technically behind, but if Sina at some point goes into Eastern uh, because he's lost in progression, then that time is basically regained. Yeah, very true. Um, I think a lot of it might depend on whether or not um, Palace of Darkness is a pendant or a crystal, and whether or not the mirror is available, because the, the biggest temptation to, to go into Eastern Palace when you've already kind of eliminated progression items by having to go to Aghanim is if you can route it in easily with Palace of Darkness. And if yeah. that's not an option or not available, um, you know, that would be pretty skippable, I think. Now, we know, know that... People do. Yeah, we know that uh, Mirror or Book will be available at some point because uh, Desert is a crystal, so that means that sword they saw, they, they will get ahead... Of, uh, ah, they will get that. But if the Butter Sword is really hard to find, then Sinna might want to go into Eastern just to get the Temper, because... Master Sword isn't that great when you're in the later stages of the game. Although I'm sure he'll be fine without Tempered if he wants to. True. Although, like if I if I knew what I was getting when I went into Eastern Palace and I knew I had to go all the way to the end just for Tempered, I would probably skip it. It's just not worth. Yeah. It. Yeah, I see that. But oh, we should have played the how many blue balls game, but it's too late for that. I think it was two, one or two. Any more than zero is too many. Uh, yeah, but huh, give him a break. Two is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we've got Pendant Thieves Town, Green Pendant Mire. So that does mean that the Palace of Darkness is a crystal. Alright. Also, it was apparently three, according to chat. And we, we believe in our Twitch chat. Yeah, Twitch chat has never once lied to me, or misled me, or trolled me. So I <laughs> no, have no. no reason to you know doubt anything they said. I don't think you ever stream, sir. <laughs> <laughs> So that was, that was what I like to call sarcasm. All right, we have that in Norway too. Actually, <laughs> I, I, I was uh, I was in America for uh, for a couple of years, and I was constantly sarcastic early on. People thought I was just a horrible human being until they understood I didn't mean half of the stuff I said. So anyway, I had that we... same problem, except I'm not sarcastic, and there and other people are mostly right. <laughs> you're just you're just generally mean. <laughs> just just a joke. All right, All so. Right. Uh, uh, Sinna is is going into um, is going into Palace of Darkness, and more importantly, he is heading in this direction without the mirror. So I'd say the odds of an Eastern Palace dip by Sinna is pretty low. So I think that's time that Pink Kitty Rose is going to have to make up with different routing choices later in the seed. Oh, she's forgetting that she could use Bombos there and make this room go faster, but. Well, oh, the, the, yeah, the that energy strat setup. for the for the spin for the guards is pretty quick. Bombos is one of the longest uh, casting animation medallions. I think it is the longest one now that I think about it. Most most witches agree. All right, so um, we're gonna have to see right side here in pod from Sinan because no small key uh, in that first chest. Very true. Although with uh, with the bow and hammer in tow, it's. Uh, it's not like they have uh, a whole lot of choice. Um, and when you go into Palace of Darkness this early, you're pretty much committing to full clearing it. Uh, the only thing that makes the routing a little bit annoying is they don't have the mirror. So, um, you know, death warping from the big key chest or something like that might be the fastest way, depending on what else they find and how the keys work out. Yeah. Oh, they also found blue mail at some point. I don't even remember when they did that. But yeah, they've been given so much. They should be so grateful for this. I don't. I don't know how grateful you can be uh, when you're doing Aghanim. Like I'm usually. I'm usually not happy with a seed at that point. Ah, you're too spoiled. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? I, I'll, I'll enjoy my spoiling. <laughs> when right, I so was your age, age growing up. To use Bombos in this red guard room. Yeah, that is. And honestly, nice and, unless you can get your double spin hits on those guards, um, probably faster, or certainly a little less stressful. Very nice bonk strats from Sin that got it right the first try there, so gonna see. No, she's not even gonna attempt to do the hook shot that I didn't even know worked and just keep on going. You're, you're learning all kinds of things today. I do. It's like I never played this game before. But don't tell <laughs> don't tell anyone. <laughs> I, I won't tell anyone the thing that you just broadcasted live on stream, don't worry. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I won't be able your to silence is bought for me, my friend. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Oh, so I know if something happens now, it's you you who said it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nobody else could possibly be suspect. <laughs> no, no. All right. So, um, so far, nothing interesting in pod, but usually there's nothing interesting in the 
front end of the pod. It's usually the back end that has cool stuff. The old palace of keys. Uh, interesting to note that with the way the way the small keys worked out, I believe that the um, that the vanilla big key chest in pod there that it's kind of by the entrance because of the amount of keys they had. It's not a guarantee that that had to be a small key. So um, I wonder if he'll consider checking that like at the end of the boss fight and save and quit out depending on how the routing works. Yeah, with, so you mean the big, you know the big key chest? Not a small key, it could still be a map compass and skipping it could save you some time. Yeah, yeah, yeah I see. Again, though, unfortunate that it doesn't have the mirror. Mirror is what you really want here for your routing. But he has two small keys now, so I think he has to check harmless hellway? No, he won't. Never mind. Okay, I may may messed up my logic. Oh, but remembering to free the fairy for death warping. That's quite smart. Yep, is is setting up for... Uh, yeah, nothing's more annoying than setting up for a death warp. Uh, and then, you know, forgetting you have a fairy in a bottle. The best is setting up for death warp and then picking up the sand cart, and then having to kill down again, and then forgetting you have a fairy. <laughs> uh, also worth noting, though, that uh, because of the way the small keys have, have dropped in here, uh, uh, Sinna did correctly recognize that uh, both of the small key locked single chests uh, have to be small keys, because he has exactly enough to beat the dungeon without it. Indeed. That's what I was questioning earlier, but you, you have the logic figured out there, sir, so that's great. Yeah, the uh, having already being in possession of the map and compass and having exactly the amount of small keys you need to beat the dungeon tells you that those those chests have to be small keys, otherwise you could key lock yourself, and that is that is something that the creators of the randomizer made a thing so that people wouldn't accidentally like kill the game for themselves. Yes. Alright, so nothing in pod so far. I don't know if there is an item on uh... Helmasaur or not, I haven't paid attention if it's 4 or 5 that he's picked up, but that's the last place something can be that is progression, but of course it is a crystal dungeon so you want to get it out of the way. Um, I believe with map compass already found and the way the keys work, um, that there has to be one item left on Helmasaur. But even if there yeah. is nothing but garbage on Helmasaur, um, it is a crystal. Indeed. And it will fit nice into his infinity gauntlet. So, um... That he has the hookshot. Uh, <clears throat> well, they both have the hookshot, which means that there is quite a lot of dark world accessible to them, despite the only entrance being through uh, Hyrule Castle with the Aghanim defeat. Yeah, I'm a, uh, I'm a little surprised that uh, uh, like Pinkity Rose, it makes a lot of sense to just do Palace of Darkness because it's not like you can tie it in. Like it's not going to get a whole lot faster unless you had the mirror, and even that's not very significant so getting it out of the way now is a pretty good idea but um, I'm a little surprised that nobody debated doing like hype cave check or, or something like that before committing to a dungeon yeah that's a good point <clears throat> so it's, it's still be... worth noting that neither one of these runners has any sort of gloves like can't lift anything <laughs> yeah so weak so um yeah, it's going to be interesting to see if they hookshot across the, and go north, or if they're going to go south to uh, to Hype Cave. Or, well, you can't see my quotation marks, but Hype Cave. <laughs> you know, Hype Cave went from ridiculously always having something to being complete garbage, and now it's actually it's probably statistically where it should be. Yeah, Hype Cave should always have a a pretty good chance of an item just because it contains five items, like, and the way it's situated with like item requirements. But it's not the it's not the glory years that it used to be. That's for sure. You just you just used my pickup line there statistically as it should be. But yeah, <laughs> I thought you were gonna say it's not the glory years anymore. That's a bad pickup <laughs> line. Yeah, that's also they're both I, I pretty bad. You get a new one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're statistically adequate for me. <laughs> <laughs> like it's not the glory years anymore. But uh, let me oh! take you out to dinner. We have the, the first uh, step towards an inf infinity gauntlet here now, so he can lift rocks. Not yeah, quite that... not quite Thanos yet, but we're getting there. No, yeah, we need more gems and also, uh, you know, the, ex the accessories. Yes. It needs to look bling. But yeah, that's pretty solid routing um, so far then for Sinna, because, uh, you know, with the gloves in hand, um, I'd be curious to see, like you mentioned, is, is, are they going to do the South Hulk Hype Cave route? Or are they going to use that hookshot and head north through the Dark World over towards the Village of Outcasts? That's always kind yeah. of an annoying, an annoying go um, when you don't have 
uh, the mirror because it gets hard to route in the graveyard ledge if, if you uh, skip too many things. There's going to be some uh, some outliers uh, for, from the routing, no matter which way they go, which is going to be annoying. Like it's, you got Cave 45 in the south, and you got Graveyard Ledge in the north, and they're going to it's going to be a little bit awkward. Um, so hopefully, this is basically a gamble. It's not 50-50 because some of these places are more item dense than others. But on the other hand, it's it's really hard to say which is the better choice, even if it's not 50-50. And meanwhile, we've got a uh, a catfish check-in route here, which again, uh, Cine is going to be uh, orphaning the Zora location, which is one place uh, he did not check that Pink Kitty Rose did. Um, it will end up working out in his favor because we know that it's just you know a human heart or highly <laughs> heart. I guess I don't know if they're kind of elves. Yeah, I don't know, uh, but it is kind of odd how many how many creatures in this world carry a heart with them. Um, oh, fire on! Oh, wow. Wait, okay, so we need... We need the red cane. And book or mirror. And mitts. And that's it? Maybe oh, quite. Mirror is 100% required because uh, they need to gain access to swamp. Yes, yes, that's true. So mirror, Samaria, um, mitts would do, would do it. Assuming, maybe, of course, maybe the, Quake. Yeah. yeah, the Quake is not necessarily required. But I, I like the I like the rod in there. Um, having picked up that fire rod, immediately saving and quitting, and then just knocking out Skull Woods uh, while you're in the area is pretty solid routing. Yeah, you have the gloves now, so you don't have to rely on the portal for from Aga anymore. But Aga was required because those gloves were in pot. Uh, also, um, Pink actually released. Sorry, this is a long time ago, but I can't let it. I can't get it out of my head. She released her fairy at the exact same location Cena did. And that's just, <laughs> yeah. It's not very important, but yeah. <laughs> well, a synchronization of fairies is is always a. It's a fine art, not often appreciated. It's good to Indeed. be another connoisseur. <laughs> yes. Uh, all right. So, um, is it? Do am I saying it right, Cena? His I name? honestly don't know. The, this person did not submit their uh, name to the pronunciation guide uh, sheet, so no. I'm just kind of rolling with it. None of them did. So I, <laughs> I was looking at the. We have like a guide for the for the bio of all the runners, and none of them submitted anything. So these are two runners we know very little about. But that's fine. We don't know need to know their life story to know that they're good randomized runners, and they made it to the round of 28, and they both won a game in the round of 28. So, uh, we're gonna check, we're gonna do the reverse Skullwoods. Um, and uh, Cena's gonna find a small key right here, which is actually quite nice, because that means when you go back to the, if you have to do the front part, it, you, that makes that routing a bit easier. Yeah, very true. I'm curious that uh, he elected to go to skip the front of Skullwoods, but spent the time to do that um, uh, annoying other part. That's a good point. It may be more logical just to go where he's going right now first, and then backtrack from there. But maybe it's gonna pay off. We don't know. But at least now he has two small keys, so he doesn't have to. Um, he doesn't have to kill the mummy if he doesn't want to. Uh, uh, Gibdo or whatever names in this game. Oh, speaking of names in this game, did you know that Ganon has a surname? Um. I did not, although it wouldn't surprise me that with the way all the lore is gone that that's the thing. His name is Ganondorf Dragmire. Or as I like to call him, Sir Ganondorf Dragmire. I just like to call him Jerkface. <laughs> that's about as sophisticated. Uh, so we're gonna see a fighter shield uh, fight. Mothula, but he has the fire rod and half magic, so yeah, he'll be using that quite a bit. Alright. Yeah, the fighter sword moth is annoying, but yeah, half magic fire rod is pretty good. Technically, hammer moth can be faster if, if moth cooperates, because it, it only requires four hits of the hammer versus eight hits uh, from the fire rod, but uh, uh, fire rod definitely a lot safer, and with the amount of hearts that uh, uh, the Cine had, that it's you know, I think the fire rod was a, a wise choice. Indeed. 
So that was a very clean fight. He still hasn't found any of the items, so he's going to have to go back and look for two items in Skull Woods. But it is a Crystal Dungeon, so it's nice to get that out of the way. Wait, hasn't Pink been on the mountain yet? Wasn't she here? Oh, did she just go straight right side first? Uh, I believe so. Yep. She ducked down to look at the item on top of Spectacle Rock, but never actually went down. So wait, I think wait. It looks like she's routing this in with Bumper Cave. Has Since, Bumper you know, Cave... Got the gloves. No, not Bumper Cave. Uh, Spike Cave. Has Spike, Spike Cave been in Logic for a while, hasn't it? It, it just came into Logic. That is, literally, this is the next thing that she did after finding the gloves in... Uh, uh, oh, right, they need the gloves. I was just thinking all of a sudden that gloves could be here and they didn't have to do Aga. But yeah, no, they need the gloves to lift that rock. I forgot. I, I, right. I think everybody at some point or another has known the pain of getting all the way to the end of Spike Cave and then forgetting that you actually need gloves to lift the rock and then just dying a slow death on the spikes. Oh, uh, that is, that is, yeah. You just, you saying that just makes me shiver. So yeah, that is very painful. All right, so nope, uh, PKR has got some choices to make here. I have a feeling she'll make a similar choice, um, but not having checked Catfish uh, is going to be really rough because that means uh, Fire Rod is going to be delayed, so she's not going to be able to route in, um, you know, Mafula and Skull Woods the same way her opponent did. Indeed. Now I know I saw Cena find some bombs or something, but I didn't think he found both items. But he's running out of there, so I, apparently he did. <laughs> I missed something. I think. Bumper Cave just having... We're finally starting to see boring items. Bumper Cave having a bomb upgrade. It's not going to well, I mean, almost all, the, all, almost all the exciting items have been found already for love of Pete. Yeah. We're, we're really just looking for Mirror and Red Cane. Um, that's like the two, two big ones. Well, Mitts too, also. Oh, yeah. But it's not as big. Okay, it is. I'm just trying to justify me for getting Mitts, but I couldn't do that. <laughs> so... So Pink is also going to do the back first, but she may go full back if that's a term I can use. That. <laughs> anyway. No, she's going to go here as well. No? Yes, she is. Okay. They're both doing, doing the, the same... Gipto stance and doing it well. Yes. That's impressive. That room is difficult. Meanwhile, Bloomerang for Sine in the um, bombable hut. I'm learning names. It's getting there. Well, I mean, that name is easy because it's also literally what a name of what it is. <laughs> it's like the word fireplace. <laughs> yeah, it's the place where you put the fire. It's like the laziest word ever invented, but it's great. Oh, she's she's gonna go front. She did mid to front. All right, this is a pretty big play here. So Cine is going into Pendant Thieves Town. Now, this is another dungeon that is not necessarily required. So if this is something that Sine does and completely strikes out, if there's nothing good in here, uh, that could be the time that PKR needs to catch up a little bit. Indeed. So one of the items that was in the front was 50 rupees. I'm not sure if Sine picked that up, but I guess... Well, either he did and I didn't see it, or he just forgot and he thinks he has two items, and it's not going to hurt him anyway because it's just 50 rupees. So it doesn't really matter either way. Wait, what? He he saw fifty rupees. He got it from the chest. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, there was there was fifty rupees in both Thief's Town and Skullwoods at the same time, basically. Now, so you're just looking at the other screen, probably. I'm just talking about Cena's potential lack of one item from Skullwoods. Oh, got it. Yeah, but I I think he got both of them. I just I think I just missed it. All right. So PKR sees nothing on Bumper Cave. It'll be interesting oh. to see if, if she decides to go into Thieves Town like her opponent here. Indeed. I, it's also going to be interesting to see how long Sin is going to be on Fighter Sword, because that's... it's rough being on... Well, he's doing a good job, but yeah. I guess having Bow and Fire Rod and Hammer makes it easier. Yeah, you're definitely punished a little bit less at that point. No God Pixel here, but still a decent... Well, he's not done with this room yet, so I'm going to... Oh, the I like this. Yeah, with, with half magic and cape, why not? Take yeah. advantage of that overpowered combination. Name a more iconic duo. Oh, sorry, that's an old meme. Anyway. <laughs> um, inf infinity Gauntlets and Link to the Past Randomizer. Wait, no, that's... That's, the <laughs> that's Yeah. Right, so PKR is going into Thieves Town. 
So uh, she's just she saying, is. Pen and Dungeons, give me more of them. I want some. I got to have them. Yes. Hey, hey, and also, Pedestal is not dead. Well, I didn't think you could hookshot that particular skull because it has uh, the anti. Uh, you can. Um, it just has a weird hitbox because of the way the way the anti fairy works. Um, I believe the way that works is if you if you catch it on the very far side of the pot, um, you you hit the pot and not where the anti fairy is. Yeah, and I also remember it's actually a bunny beam. Oh, name. Oh yeah, bunny back. beam. Excuse me. Yeah, no, no, no that's, I said anti fairy first, so I was just assuming you were thinking this guy doesn't even know what a bunny beam is. I'm just gonna keep using his stupid words. So, so that's yeah, fine. I was just gonna, you know, I'm trying to make you look good. I'm just rolling with it. Yeah, 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 but it, it's working. Is <laughs> I think. <laughs> Let's just say it is, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Why All is right, she picking it's... up random pots? Yeah, so oh, far nothing running back out up. of nothing out of Thieves Town here. This is going to be interesting because uh, Pink has left and uh, Cine is still here. So if Cine finds, oh, we're, we're about to see if it's if it was a good decision or not. But I, I think say, I think item number four is on Blind. So and uh, of course Blind is a pendant, but not the green pendant. So anything that Blind drops will be just the item itself, and that's it. Unless of course Wait. the pedestal dream is still alive. Eastern had green. No. Oh, no, Myra never mind. Was, uh, no, my was good. Yeah, yeah. No, I was just thinking she maybe should have checked Charles, but I don't know. Never mind. Got to have Blind some with, uh... the, with the rock solid pun there. There we. Go. Oh wow. All right, digging game. <laughs> I I always hope for the short digging game. There yeah, we 12 go. Twelve is twelve is acceptable. Yeah, and we have a okay. It was a it was a good boy fight. Got some damage at the end there, but it was pretty fast. And nothing, nothing. All right, so that that's actually pretty critical for for PKR here. Uh, the the play that she made into Eastern was redeemed just a little bit um, by deciding to skip Thieves Town. The only way that ends up, uh, you know, being super bad is if it turns out that pedestal is required. Yes, and, and if there's one uh, thing I know Twitch chat likes, it's pedestal required seats. Indeed. And arguably, her dip into Eastern was more rewarding for her because she actually got a sword, which which does help her speed up things a little bit, while it shined up basically nothing. Uh, that, that That is very true. Well, he did get the satisfaction of, uh, you know, stopping a, a notorious thief. And, um, you know, that's not worth nothing. Yeah. Seeing the... Oh, mirror and hype cave. We're getting a bit of hype. Oh, oh, that's wow. a lot of hype. All right, no. I'm, I'm, I declare that uh, eight or nine out of ten hype cave. That's pretty solid right there. So we are a cane away from no mode. Yeah. Yeah. Because PKR is going to be in trouble though because skipping out on catfish uh, is really going to hurt her routing. I'm, I'm trying to figure out at, at what point does it make sense for her to visit the catfish area since she's already cleared out Zora and has already done pod. She would probably have to route it in with like the graveyard ledge check over to Catfish, and that's a pretty tough sell. Yeah, and you don't like you don't want to find Mitz now, really, because Mitz opens up so many other locations that probably has nothing. Yeah, you you want to find that you want to find that fire out before you find the Mitz, not afterwards. Yeah, that's very true. But again, uh, it, it's it's hard to tell uh, what what's going through the minds of the runners. Uh, you know, we talked about it a little bit earlier, but having found so many progression items so early it means that there's just a ton of things that every runner can do. So the little choices that they make as to how they choose to include things in their routing and and how they decide to do things in order can have you know really rippling effects to their their progression through the rest of the seed. Mm. You know, finding finding the mirror this early is something I can see myself doing. 53 minutes, uh, that's that's pretty anti-early, actually. Okay, I was just trying to go for a bad pun, but it, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm wondering if Cine is going to go into Swamp or not. Nope, we got the flute out. He's going to play us the song of his people. <laughs> So it's, it's, I feel it feels like the first couple of, of tones over and over again. So it's kind of yeah, very quickly. The old dash flute trick. Now this is an interesting play by Sydney. I'm wondering if if he got the mirror and 
mitts like together at the exact same time just really made him think about the Meyer shed area. With Misery Meyer being Quake, that will prevent him from even entering it unless of course Quake is in here. Which is good because it's a pendant. Oh, wrong cane. Yeah, that is not the correct color of cane. But again, like even in these random locations to still find cool stuff. That cane is cool. Like you can say what you want about progression, but it's a cool looking cane. That's true. It, it does cause a lot of lag, but it does have a, a, a pretty sparkle effect. And that's not to be understated. No, the swag factor is high. Uh, speaking of anti-swag factor, uh, Pink Kitty Rose did find the map um, pretty early in, in Swamp, so she knows that there is at bare minimum one good item on the left side of Swamp. And no one likes going to the left side of Swamp. Not even the left side of Swamp's mother. <laughs> wow. That was so random. Anyway, this can actually be Master Sword for Cine, but it will be um, the Tempered Sword for Pinky. Unless she finds a sword in Swamp. Oh, please don't. I, I want my prediction to be true. No, I, I think it's important that everyone in chat recognizes that you were technically incorrect. <laughs> oh, how well you know me, sir. <laughs> All right, so deserts. So far, no! no value. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Yes! <laughs> oh, man. There are so uh, many ways my prediction could have been correct. And it was... They, they did the exact thing they needed to do for, do for it to be incorrect. Uh, interesting to note, though. Um, Cine could end up on Master Sword only if he manages to find Canis Samaria before he enters Swamp. Because if he does, he will pretty be pretty disincentivized to check any more locations. And we know where all the swords are. True, true. But yeah, this is this is actually really nice for Cena that he does he really doesn't have to go to Eastern at all. Because he will find that tempered pretty soon. Well, but you know, the temptation to go to Eastern looking for something like Canis Samaria, I mean I don't know why they would do it now when they have so many other things, but there's no guarantee yeah, no. that he completely avoids that dungeon entirely. That is a good point. And again, Kane could be on pedestal. No, it can't. No, it can't. It, no, a mirror. No, I mean Meyer. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, the dream is is dead for that specific uh, thing. But I mean, we don't know what Turtle Rock is. It could be Quake. Oh it yeah, could true. Be on the pedestal. Quake it's, is it's the only possible. thing. Yeah, Quake is the only thing that can be on pedestal that is actually needed for progression. Or it can be Mushroom leading to Quake. That would be even better. That would be super gross. It could happen, though. But I just want to go on record as saying that if that were to happen, it would be gross. Uh, yeah, yeah. Alright, so... PKR ditching out... on the left side of Swamp, I believe. Looks like she's ca uh, catching the uh, cave south of the Haunted Grove here with the mirror, which is... pretty smart. Yeah, it's Not one of those places to... that's been off for a while because of the mirror. Yeah, definitely. Ooh, money. <laughs> She's tempted, but she walks away from it. <laughs> it's, it's like it's like finding treasure in a game you don't care about the high score in. It's like it, you want to get it because it's technically delicious treasure, but it doesn't actually mean anything. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of cognitive dissonance on that one. You don't know what to do. Yeah. Yeah. It's, oh, 300. Ooh, it's 300 rupees, though. Ooh, I, I don't know if I should. Oh, she's going to go and get her butter sword now. Ugh. I wonder if she'll bother. Yeah. No. <laughs> but Butter Sword saves you time on Trinex and Ganon, and maybe a few other tiny places, and that's about it. Yeah, true, true. Enemies it's aren't tough enough for Butter Sword, those, though. Yeah. Oh, she's gonna... Ah, oh, yes. Thank you. At least she's gonna pick it up. Oh, yeah, true. Quake cannot be on Ped, because Quake is from Meyer. Chad is pointing out. So Ped is dead. Yeah. Interesting. So we're gonna have Cine um, go into ice. I don't know what other verb I was looking for there, but uh, and uh, yeah, they're both likely just wow, basically just following each other's trails, bothically. Yeah, I'd say going into Ice Palace when you're one item from Go Mode is uh oh yeah i mean it's a crystal you're gonna have to clear it anyway but man uh, on the scale of 
dungeons you like go moding. Ice Palace is one of them. Yeah, yeah. But again, though, Swamp is also an I. Yeah, it's like, what is worse, not go moding Swamp or not go moding Ice? You know what I mean? They're both pretty bad at not go moding. But uh, it's like Pink asking actually... if you want to get kicked in the face or punched in the face. Can <laughs> yeah. I choose neither? <laughs> never. Now, on the other hand, I want to point out Pink never did left side or a big chest in uh, Swamp. So she she go moded. Well, she almost go moded Swamp. She did a couple of extra checks, checks, but those are really easy to do. So so she might head back in there if she can't find the cane anywhere else. Well, I, I'd say at this point, that that's the last place in the game she'll go to look for cane in. Yeah, probably. Because skipping those locations is, like, in terms of chest per minute, it's a smart play. And, it, and she probably feels like she needs to make up some time from her Eastern Palace play that she now knows was not necessary. Can I make another gross prediction? I'm all about gross predictions. They're going to find Quake in, like, left side of Swamp or something, and then the Red King's going to be in Mire. It's possible. Yes. That's truly gross, though. I'm impressed. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's the compliment I usually get from my wife as well. <laughs> I'm, I'm learning a lot about you today. <laughs> yes. What is this moonwalking from? He's, like, going backwards and facing oh, no, the yeah, A lot of people use the boots to set up their uh, Ice Palace bomb jump. With varying degree of success, but he got it eventually. Yeah, it, it could be hard. Uh, I don't think it's any better or worse than simply walking to the pixel with a little more precise timing, but um, you can muscle memory that the the boots set up pretty well, so a lot of people tend to favor it that way. Ah, I see, I see. I, I do a little bit of speedrunning in other games, and the worst thing about speedrunning is muscle memory for me, because my muscle memory is just non-existent, so I have to, like, I have, to have visual cues for everything. So we're gonna see. All right. So Sina hasn't done right side. Oh yeah. No. Speaking of. Yeah, I got the smoky, so he can go back up again. That's actually a very nice strategy. Although he is only on two arts, so he has to be a bit careful. Yeah, we saw him temporarily throw on the cane of Bryna, so he might consider using it here uh, to go back um, to the spikes, assuming he doesn't find an item. Okay, there we go. Uh -huh. All right, it looks like uh, Pink Kitty Rose, uh, just like you mentioned, Ken Man, is, is following in the footsteps. These guys are both routing pretty similarly after a tiny divergence early in the scene. The only difference is that Pink has done Swamp and Cena has not, which is completely understandable by from Cena not to do Swamp now. Oh, true. So, uh, well, that and the Fire Rod. Oh, right, she's going in there without the Fire Rod. I was like, why is she using Bombos? Like, oh, right, never visited Catfish. So that I means she has that those... she really enjoys oh. the sparkles from the Bombo Swirly Medallion. You know, that also explains why she didn't do the Back of Swamp uh, Skull Woods first, because she couldn't do it. Ah, uh, correct. Yeah, that is a valid uh, reason for not going to Catfish, and that's why I was worried about, like, Catfish routing for Pink Kitty yeah. Rose, because if you've already done Zora and you've already done Pod, um, routing in Catfish becomes a little bit more difficult. Like, it'd be something you would have to intentionally go out of your way for. Indeed. I'm just looking at the fancy special crystals, and I only see... <laughs> no, I, I, only... I, I immediately vote that we rename those crystals fancy special crystals. <laughs> yes. Uh, no, I had I had a co-caster. I think it was Stan. He would always call them special crystals, and I thought it was amusing, so I just I just picked it up. Um, I Is it... Am I blind, or is it only... I don't no. know. Are you in the bottom of Thieves Town? <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, so Ice Palace is fancy, and yeah, and it's pot. Okay, so that might be one reason they're doing ice this early, is to get Czech Pyramid Fairy. Yep, and, and actually uh, bringing that up is smart, because uh, that could be the incentive that Pig Kitty Rose needs to go check uh, Catfish. Yes. That is a good point. Cena just fell down the floor like a champion. I guess oh, it was got the shot. <laughs> oh! Oh, he's got to oh. be careful. Oh, that's the <laughs> worst feeling in the world is when you fail both of those <laughs> after each other. Yeah, you have to uh, you have to be flush against the block for that to work. So, um, Colt's there with Master Sword. Uh, well, he has Fire Rod and Half Magic and Bombos, so he'll be fine. Yeah, and Blue Tunic. It should be a... Yeah. Uh, I, I would expect that 
basically every runner uh, in the bracket stage has a pretty good strategy for Cold Stare. That's not to say that he can't get away from you. All it takes is a slightly delayed spin and, and you're in trubs. But uh, uh, most runners... Oh, we're even showing off the uh, the Beam Sword uh, Fire Rod saving trick there. Very nice. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, so if your uh, Fire Rod shot is in mid-air, and, or rather, you hit Cold Stare with it and then immediately throw out a Beam Sword, something about the programming of the game makes your Beam count as a Fire Rod hit. So oh, no way! Yeah, it's a really handy trick. If you ever like find yourself in Ice Palace needing to kill Cold Stare and you don't have Bombos and you don't have half magic, and you don't have full magic because you need an entire full magic bar yeah, for yeah. all eight shots of uh, of the fire rod. Um, that's a neat trick you could use to uh, cool. get past that fight. I had no idea. The things I learned today. What? It's so weird though because I've watched a ton of games and I never learned this much in the sea that I'm doing now. So I guess they're just <laughs> showing off stuff. Or I'm yeah, just actually a lot of paying cool attention. Tech for both of these runners, actually. And, and really, like, Sine doing that was kind of swag. Like, he had the mana. Uh, it's just a little bit faster to do with sword beams, I think, depending on how well you time your fire rod shots. So it certainly looked cool. I was impressed. Indeed. Actually, oh, never mind. I was just about to say that Cine could go on the ledge and get his tempered sword, but it's already that was his master sword. So never mind. Oh, uh, tempered was in um, swamp, which is hit where he's going right now. Well, I yeah, thought I he was going to do pyramid fairy first, but he's not. He's going straight into swamp. Well, uh, he can he can route this in and uh, be done with this section of the map, I guess, and then just move north. The only reason he would have to come back is if he found like Book of Medora and would want to check out Bombo's tablet or something. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be interesting. Oh, that would be another great chain. What if? Okay, I'm gonna. So they find Quake left side swamp, and then they find the mushroom, and then the wish gives them the book. No, they found the mushroom in in mirror in mire. <laughs> Crap, that's the second time I don't know. They found the mushroom in the mirror. I guess if you're playing as the mushroom sprite and you look at the mirror, you could find the mushroom. But I think I think everyone knows where I'm going with this horrible uh, horrible prediction of of making the life of these runners miserable. It would be a pretty uh it'd be pretty ironic to have the seed give you literally every item in the game except for one pretty early. Uh, and then you spend the entire game looking for that one item. That's that's the randomizer in a nutshell, really. That that is really true. That's that's how randomizer works. It should actually be like the slogan on the website, something something in that to that effect. All right, we see uh, cool, uh, unnecessary but very cool looking uh, hammer dashes from uh, Sydney there. Oh, I always try and go for those, even though it basically saves no time. Oh yeah, I, I like doing the hammer dashes in the room he's in right now for the key. Oh, oh, yes! He missed yeah. the one. Still looks cool, though. I'm still impressed. I give that 8 eight out of 10 swag points. There we go. Alright, so PKR is going to be fighting Cold Stare, um, and she will have the advantage of a delicious stick of butter with which to beat the crap out of him with. Oh, that's true. That's That that makes a big difference in this fight, actually. What kind of sword you have. I mean, Fire Rod's still handy for just when, they're, when they've moved out of range of your sword, but uh, Butter Sword should make pretty quick work of him here. Yep. Pretty a very, very solid uh cold stare fight from PKR there. I was just I was just gonna see if something was happening in chat for like two seconds and I looked back and she was done with the fight. So that uh, is Yeah, that's all it takes with butter. See when I eat a lot of butter I get slow. But apparently <laughs> yeah. you give a runner a link to the past a lot of butter and things go faster. I can't, I can't believe it. I can't believe it's not butter. I mean I oh well, never mind. <laughs> the, the margarine sword. It's, uh, it <laughs> looks like the butter sword, but doesn't do nearly as much damage. There we go. There we have it. So, um, where yeah, does Pink PKR. go now? She's got a lot of choices. It looks like it might be the Jeremiah tour. Or oh, it wasn't really a tour because it's, she got Mirror and, and uh, Flute. So it's going to be fairly quickly, but she might do those four items. The uh, three. She's already done that. Uh, yep. And also, it's worth noting that Cine is not not doing the left side of swamp at least not right away so that will be that will be time that you know will be, have been kept the same because both runners will have skipped it indeed so the difference between these runners right now is that uh Sina got the fire rod at catfish and has completed skullwoods as a result so pink has not been able to do that and that's really the only difference pink looks a bit ahead because of it but then she's gonna need to backtrack that at some point Oh, and also pink finished Eastern, but that didn't really change much. 
influence the, much. These little bit of time saves back and forth could end up making a big difference here. Oh yeah, I was just thinking about in terms of progression and, and stuff like that. But yeah, it, it does hurt her that she had to do it, or that she did Easter. It has gotta be in the back of mind of Sin though. There's like a there's a, a like a level one or level zero area that he oh level one because of Bow and, and Lab that he hasn't been to yet. Uh, and there is an item he's missing. So like Well it could hmm. technically be the the first sphere too, because there's a, a good chunk of chests in the front of Eastern Palace that he did not look at either that are still in the first sphere. Yeah, that's true. Oh Very nice beautiful one there. hit. Yeah. Always looks impressive. Oh, where is Pink going? I thought she already checked everything around here. She could just mirror and flew. But well, she didn't. She, ha she didn't have the uh, didn't have the mitts the first time she was here. So she's like you mentioned doing the Jeremiah tour. Although going north, perhaps she's doing the uh, graveyard into catfish check. Yeah, she hasn't done uh, King's Tomb either. Oh yeah. So and actually, if, if she opts to do all of these checks, um, that will be to her advantage, because if she goes all the way over to the northeast corner of the Dark World, she will be rewarded with a Fire Rod. Oh, what if... what if... Uh, King's Tomb has the cane? That would be uh, pretty amazing for PKR. Indeed. What she if it doesn't She would still have time enough? to make up, though, because she would have to go back to Skull Woods, which is something that Sydney has already done. Yeah, but this kind of might be a while before Sina checks these these areas, though. Very true. Also, I feel like pointing out, um, with the hook shot in tow, uh, PKR was putting on a little clinic. Oh my gosh! Oh! <laughs> wow, what a play! Th this randomizer so often comes down to who finds the last item for go mode. Now we we're in no mode because PKR has not found the fire rod yet. She hopefully will check catfish after this, though. She, but... she is going in the general direction of Fire Rod. It's certainly possible. But meanwhile, Cine needs to get to Graveyard Ledge. Yes, and, and Cine, Cine also did open up the big chest in... Oh no, she's floating! Uh, oh! No. <laughs> uh, turn in okay. that chest. I wonder if she might choose to do catfish in with uh, the pyramid, which is what you stated earlier. Yes. Now, so so yeah, this is basically who can like, can Pink check Catfish before Cena checks Graveyard Ledge or vice versa. That's basically what we're we're down to. And also, once Pink is in Go mode, she has a little bit more work to do than Cena does. With Skullwoods. Yep, that is very true. Oh and no, but she's going East Death Mountain, which you know, based on item density and having the hook shot, makes a lot of sense. Yeah, and she might be thinking, you know, I feel behind from Eastern. Uh, routing has been going pretty okay, but I just got done with two dungeons, full clearing, well, except for the left side of Swamp. They gave me nothing. So maybe she's thinking if, if my opponent is putting off Turtle Rock area because of no Fire Rod, maybe and, it, and it's up here and I find it, then that will be good for me. It's hard to tell, though. Indeed. Alright, so, um... Where will Cine go? Okay, they're both going... Okay, so oh, they're yeah. both, both going... Uh, in poor directions. That's pretty. It's kind of funny the way it works out. They each have two different pieces to the Turtle Rock entry requirements. Uh, yes. <laughs> I wonder if she's thinking, what if Fire Rod is in like the one of the chests in Turtle Rock that is not Fire Rod locked? Because that would be, that would be really cruel. But she she would spend a lot of time doing it. Actually, we didn't know it was Bombos. It could have been Quake, and we could have still not been in Go mode. But it is Bombos, so she can open it. Yeah, having uh, that but... knowledge is very good. I don't think she's gonna enter now, though. I think she's gonna check Hookshot Cave and Paradox Cave. At least first. Might enter yeah, afterwards, though. Sense. But, yeah. I mean, while you're up here, um, mm -hmm. it would be pretty... Like, it would be a pretty tough call to make after you check these other locations to go into Turtle Rock without the Fire Rod, but if you're already here, like, it will never get easier to check. Yeah, and also, like, it's only a couple of chests. Like... Even if you get a small key, that that's you're not gonna keep getting small keys for too long until you run out of 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 chests you can check in Turtle Rock. So it's not that yeah. long of a trip. Basically, the instant you open a chest and it's not a small key, your your forward progression in Turtle Rock is stopped if you don't have the fire run. So hookshot was where all the crap was. <laughs> yeah. I like right, that. So... I, I I like a seed where they find so many cool items early on and then. Then, then it's just a bunch of crap left. 
Well, like I said, it, it, it becomes an exercise in uh, efficient clustering and routing. Oh, and, oh that no. Pokemon Medora is like the worst thing that PKR could have just found. Oh, but Sean will find it too. That's going to lead him further away from Graveyard Ledge. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. you're right. That's interesting because both of these runners are going to be finding items that point them in the direction that is not <laughs> not where the item that they need is. Yeah, oh, actually, like I have seen it actually is found it first. Rock. Oh, Cena's probably doing Spike Cave. I don't think he's done that yet. And he's probably also going to check the book. The Ether Tablet, I mean. Consult yeah, the Book they're... of Admirements. <laughs> Chapter 1, verse 7. <laughs> uh, yes. Monty Python references. They never get old. They don't. I just finished watching that movie like again for the 15th time. Okay, so it's oh, just a map on Very nice. Oh, oh no, no! Another red herring. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Ah, uh, so, so much bait. Wow. Well, uh, if... If PKR finds the mushroom, I mean, that's another item that's in the general vicinity of... Oh, the yeah. Catfish. Oh, that's true. Mushroom might... Well, then it, it's in the vicinity, but there's no portal close by. Like, eh. Yeah, and it's hard to... It's so easy to flute there and check it and then leave, as opposed to routing it in with, with Dark World access. Yeah, you're very yeah. correct there. But Pink has not, Pink has not done a pyramid fairy, has she? I don't think no, she hasn't. So that might happen. Yeah, I mean, but I mean, she's there's also lots of other things she hasn't done as well. So, like, good point. You know, the, in the back of her mind always is is the fire rod on the bottom of Thieves Town because I full cleared one pen in dungeon and was not yeah. rewarded, and I skipped yeah. another one, and you know, was that the one that had something? Ooh, okay. So where is Cine going? Is he going this way to check Mushroom and then continuing the north? I think Sina is gonna go go mode soon. Yeah, yeah I, th there's no reason to go this way unless you were planning on routing in something else with it. Otherwise, you would just mirror and flute to to the Mushroom turn in. Oh, okay. And uh, now Pink is going. Okay, so Pink might do Fairy into Catfish. So she's still gonna do this later, I think, than Sina will be doing. But it's not that far apart it's still a race well totally even if she found race. even if she found the fire rod early she still has all of skull woods to finish up now that's a relatively quick dungeon but it still is another thing that she has to do that yes. her opponent has already done that is true oh no he's floating away oh he didn't keep the portal oh he's going to three so he might be in the north border oh Pink remembering that they've defeated Aga, which Sina completely forgot, so she's taking the short way to uh, to uh, Pyramid. No, Sina's going south again! I thought he was gonna stop down on three. Oh, he's doing the rest of Swamp. Uh, oh, actually, I think he's heading to Bombos with that book. Oh, yeah! That would be wow. my guess. That, that would make more sense than a left side Swamp, but maybe, maybe he's saying, alright, if it's not on Bombos, I'll check the left side of Swamp, but man, that would that's a feels bad man kind of moment. Where will Pink go after this? That is that is the big question. Well, even if she heads north to Catfish, like, like, you know, like we mentioned, she still has Skull Woods to clear. Yeah, but so Sinna is... does give is, Sinna a lot of time to continue checking the one-off locations that he skipped. Yeah, but I think she is. I think she's going Catfish. She is. There's no reason to go in this direction. Oh, except here we go. Catfish. So she is on the way to go mode, a dungeon behind. Wow, this race is incredible. Yes, it's definitely a race now. Well, it really depends, again, where is Sina going now? And he is staying in the Dark World. Is he going back into Swamp? Oh, if he, if he goes back into Swamp, this race just got ridiculous. Okay, he no, left he it. Has, yeah, he hasn't done K45 and those... Uh, well, at least not K45, so he's probably going in there. Yeah, but I mean, he's in the area. Will he do left side Swamp? Oof. Did they find the compass? I know they found the map in Swamp, so there's at least one item on the left side. I don't know. But he did check the big chest, which was an item. He's not even tempted by the money. He's so virtuous. Well, he's also already loaded. Ladies All and right, gentlemen. So that is go mode for Pink Kitty Rose. One, hour, one hour, 19, 19 minutes. Here we go. Yeah. But she so, does have to clear that swamp or uh, Skull Woods. So basically, Sydney's got about a three-minute countdown now to find that uh, cane before he ends up losing a ton of time. Oh, Jer oh, he's doing the Jeremiah route. Oh, this is gonna lose him more time. Well, if he, if he routes it like Pink Kitty Rose did, this is exactly what PKR did. 
uh, and went north with that treasure chest to find the, uh, you know, to find the Canis and Maria. Indeed. Mm, so dash, this is going to be hammer pretty close. Peg game is always a good time. Yes. Well, at least when it works. So she's in go mode. She's just going to run. Oh, yeah, she's going to pick up that fairy. Nice. She's going to just go run straight to the back, beat Mothula, go straight up to Turtle Rock, and that's it. She got all the crystals, and she can enter Pigtown. Organon's Tower. <laughs> Mr. Dragmire's residence. I, I don't, don't you call him Sir Dragmire? See, I would just call yes. him Jerkface. Jerkface no. is tower. I, I think uh, you're not. We're not so different, you and I. <laughs> I think I would go. On. That is such a cliche overused the movie uh, thing to say. <laughs> Files. S yeah, sometimes not so it's applicable. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Files. The world is changing. <laughs> yeah, oh no, think, he's uh, floating. Oh, he's not going north. Shine. I see that. I mean, I keep calling him Shine I mean, because that's an anagram. Based on what he's already checked, this is the this is the route that makes the most sense. Yes, but it's not but, the right one. No, but it's not. He still has time, though. We've got a Mothula fight here, and wow, he yeah. is getting bodied. <laughs> by I was like, why? Covered. I was like, why is he death warping here? <laughs> okay, so I think it has to be north now, north route. There's really, well, he could. He did not finish the. No, he did finish Thieves Town. No, he finished Thieves Town. In fact, That's I'd what... say I, I'm trying to think of what he could be going to in this area. He hasn't already cleared, and I'm, I, it has to be Graveyard Ledge. It does. And now Pink is finishing her fight, so he's going to be like 40 he's doing seconds it. behind, 30 seconds behind. Wow, this is, yeah, you're right. This is a close race. Yeah, we've got basically two screen transitions. Uh, uh, two mirror animations and waiting for some bombs, and that's about it. Wow, this race is crazy. This is Ganon's. This is execution and G tower routing right here is what this is. Yeah, I also think Cena did not open Turtle Rock while Pink did, so she's got a tiny little extra there as well. Oh, yep, that's a good point. I'm like, pick up the hearts. You gotta need them. She opened up that first chest too. That'll save her some time. Yes, that is true. And there we go, at 1 hour 22 minutes, Cine is in going. Wow, they both hit like nice nice uh, times there with the whole minutes. I like that. Yeah, it's always nice when the times line up. Alright. So, this is... an if you, want, if you want high drama and incredible action in a race, you can't ask for much more than this. Both of these runners are climbing Death Mountain for their last crystal. And it, it is their best of three third match for their very tournament lives in the bracket it does not get much more hype than this that that is some excellent points files that yeah this is gonna be this is gonna be intense you, you <laughs> paid for your whole seat but you're only gonna need the edge <laughs> oh wow someday someday sunday wait no today's one yeah no sorry it's the circus in town because this is intense <laughs> good work Thank you. When, whenever I feel like bad, like I don't want to finish the pump because it's so bad, I know it's going to be a good one. <laughs> yeah, that's you. Whenever you have to fight your instincts to not tell what is objectively a terrible joke, that's when you know it's actually a good one. Yes, that's how it works. And I was right about the portal thing. Portal 2 is the best game. No, about the, this one. Oh, it, oh Pink's just going to keep the, keep the protection. Yeah, with with half magic, it doesn't really matter. The the swag dash is cool, but uh, I, I think in the end, it doesn't really save you a whole lot of time. Yes, it does save time just to be able to run through, though. Yeah, it's very true. Oh and no! Also, hold on. <laughs> PKR. See, at this point, like every every second or two time loss can add up. Like, you know, these runners can't afford to uh, have execution mistakes because the. The tiny lead that PKR has over Cinna right now is easily, you know, gotten rid of by an untimely death or bad Ganon's tower routing or what have you. What if the fact that Pink has the Butter Sword is what's going to win her this game? That would be incredible. Just judging from from how she dipped Eastern and Cinna dipped uh, Thieves Town instead. Yeah, it's pretty crazy how. Uh, 
the the pendant dungeon dives ended up evening out across two different dungeons. Although really the difference between Butter Sword in Butter Sword really only has an advantage in try next fight. It does make it a little faster. You can zero cycle it if you're good. Uh, and it does make the a couple of phases of the Ganon fight a little bit faster, but that's about it. True. Like oh, yeah, she's just gonna... it doesn't really matter. Like Tempered Sword kills everything in one hit anyway. Yeah, yeah. Now we saw Pink there just steal the key, like like we call it, because she doesn't have to open that other chest. It's probably a key or an item, and in either case, she won't need the item, and she already got the key. So. Well, is it is it really stealing, or is it just straight up pokey murder? <laughs> Oh. It's it's not it's not it's not petty theft. It's it's um it's homicide. It's <laughs> yeah. All right. So uh, uh, PKR though making a uh, the twenty percent gamble that there is not a small key in the big key chest in Turtle Rock. Pretty good odds, but if it fails, you've caught you've lost yourself a lot of time, and it's time that PKR does not have a lot extra. Her opponent's right behind her. Oh, she really wanted to find a smoky in that chest, but this means she has to go to Laser Bridge, and it also means that Laser Bridge may not even have a smoky. Yep, there is. I mean, it's a it's a pretty by the numbers gamble, but uh, it can backfire on you. We'll have to see. It actually will be interesting to see if Sine does does the big key check or not. It's also psychologically diff uh, interesting because it means that she might think she's behind. Oh, Sina's got to be careful. I don't know if he has... Uh, he doesn't have any uh, fairies in bottles. Uh, but he has bottles. And now he has oh, fairies. he's also got powder. <laughs> yeah. Sweet powder. Oh, that powder is so nice in Thieves Town. Oh, oh that's the first chest! She's immediately rewarded for her gamble by the very first chest. Wow. Now, kids... the door dash. Don't, don't learn from this. Don't gamble, kids. <laughs> Uh, a link to the past randomizer. We support gambling. Put that on a t-shirt. <laughs> yes. Immediately rewarded for that gamble. <laughs> well, uh, Sina has actually made the same gamble, so that'll be a, a pretty negligible time difference. Um, slightly better execution from PKR and Turtle Rock, though. Sina had a little trouble with the pokies uh, and their small keys. He's not as oh, good she... at manslaughter, apparently. <laughs> she's not setting up the zero cycle. You, you can only get zero cycle if you go behind the Trinex, so she will have one headshot, or whatever we're gonna call this. Literally the head shooting out. I guess that is a headshot. One cycle. Yes. But yeah, the uh, the, the zero cycle Trinex kill is, uh, is a little tough to pull off. But uh, you know what else is tough to pull off? No. Guessing the correct number between one and twenty-two. Oh, there we. That's right. That's right. Let me let me do this. Let me do yeah, this. Yeah, we have a little game we like to play here. It's uh, on Speed Gaming. Uh, Link to Pass Randomizer. Uh, there are twenty-two locations where the big key can be in. Get your guesses in. If you've uh, if you've subscribed to any of the Speed Gaming channels or donated two hundred fifty bits to any of the channels, uh, you'll be entered uh, into the leaderboard. So, Cam, what what is your go-to? Like, what's I, your gimme location? I've been, for the key? I've been going for 16 for, for, for a while. And it's just based on the fact that when you ask someone to say a random number between 1 and 22, 7 and 17, for some reason, people will say a lot more. So I'm just going for a number that people don't think is interesting, and that's 16. So, sorry, that's just me being a math teacher and a dork. There's no shame. Well, there's a little shame. <laughs> it's a little bit. <laughs> uh, what do you think, uh, Files? Oh, we gotta stop this game. Has someone stopped it? Oh, I'm all over it, my friend. Okay. Uh, okay you know, my uh, my strategy has always been to uh, not guess a number and actually pick a location, so that way you've uh, you know you've secretly gotten yourself extra chances. So I like to guess the randomizer room because it's the room named after the randomizer. Aww. And then you get like a bunch. Of, yeah, not only do you get like four chests, but depending on which you know chest they check first. So we had uh, that's two, three, right? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Two and three, four and five four, will be the last one in the red. Four stuff comes room. after three. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Oh my I'm gosh! Ready. Do we have dark <gasps> magician strats from PKR? Oh, there we go. Also, he's gonna go full right side after this, huh? And if it's like, if it's like uh, randomizer room then that's really bad for pink. Or not he, she, sorry. Oh, and it kind of, well, it, it pays that off. Was, I believe that, that was number seven. 
Yes! Oh crap, that's that's one of those numbers I would never pick because everyone picks it. And then I was I was <laughs> I think I think it's important to know though that uh you were once again incorrect. So, you know, good work. I like Thank it. you. I, I I I'm I'm starting to like you more and more files. <laughs> no, I, I I respect you. You you stick to the bit. Yes. I can respect that. <laughs> Now, uh, Cynic could, a lot of the meta is to check right side and immediately mirror and go full left. So, if Cynic, yep, yeah, see, Cynic is going straight to the right, so he is going to get the big key a little bit faster than his opponent. So, he'll pick up a little bit of time here that he lost in Turtle Rock execution. But he will need to go right side just to get a smoke key. But that was on the torch, if I remember correctly, so that's going to be easy for him to find. Yep. And if it's not on Torch, there's a guaranteed one in the next room, so... Yeah, in fact, he might even pick up that second one just to yeah. make life a little easier. Doesn't have to kill those um, uh, turtle thingies or whatever they're called. Mini Helmosaurs. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Because they look like a Helmosaur and they're small. In case you didn't know why it was called Mini Helmosaur. <laughs> no, it's... <laughs> I would imagine that the board meeting for naming that animal was really short. Like, everyone was tired and wanted to go for lunch and they're like, Alright, what do we call this thing? I don't know, what, what is it? It's, it looks like the Helmosaur King, except it's small. Quit digging, you've struck oil, it's the mini Helmosaur. Let's go get lunch. <laughs> Indeed. It's about, it's about, it's the same day they were naming the fireplace. Yeah, exactly. What should we call this rod? It shoots fire. <laughs> oh, what really bothers me though is that the ice rod is actually never used in Ice Palace. It's used in Turtle Rock, it makes no sense. I always enjoy it when the randomizer puts the ice rod in the ice palace, though. It yes. seems very thematically appropriate. It makes sense. It's good. It's good. It's good game design. All right, PKR does oh. let Landmo 2 get a little out in front of her, though. And with how close this race is, you know, it, those tiny differences in execution can make a difference. Now, PKR yes. does have a relatively comfortable lead over uh, Sinner right now in terms of, like, G tower progression, but I mean, all it takes is a a, a slow Ganon phase or a fall or, or a fall or two on um, Moldworm two. Oh. I mean, this is still anyone's race. Indeed. And uh, yes, execution is important. Uh, as long as you don't have the death penalty, or yeah. Okay, so. Um... <laughs> well, I guess it's still important. It just it would be illegal. It's it, it's yeah. important that it's in the fact that it is banned. That's true. It's true. Um. So, Cena is going to go into his uh, Lan Moa's fight, and uh, going for spin strats. Now, uh, we, we need to point out, they never found Does the silvers. Does get the one cycle. Yes. So, they never found the silvers, so uh, that means that the Ganon fight will be a little bit longer. And that, w I got a question about that. Is butter faster for the last phase than tempered with no silvers? Or is uh, it the no, same? it does require 12 spins for both uh, tempered and oh, butter sword. Wow. See that? Okay, that, that makes sense why they never get it in an MG then. PKR could save a little time. Uh, it, it can be hard to one cycle phase one and two of Ganon uh, with yeah, yeah. just the tempered sword. You can do it, but it, it depends on RNG and, and execution. Oh, uh, she got you got a butter sword, you don't have to worry about any of that. You can just slap that bacon with some pig and... Or slap that pig with some butter. I don't know how you would slap the bacon with a pig, that doesn't make any sense. Sir Dragmire will fall, good man. Uh, anyway, um, Pink doing an excellent troll down there, not getting trolled at all, and she's on her way to uh, the geometry lesson with Aga 2. Yeah, she also picked up the meme chest, which uh, is always a crowd pleaser. Well, I think she was looking for silvers. No, I think she was doing the meme, Jeff. Okay, okay. Well, so I beg to differ. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm feeling the yes and right there, but, uh, um, you know, I know yeah, the meme that, that, That's fine, that's fine. You, you, you're you entitled to your opinion. <laughs> Even if it's wrong. <laughs> nice <laughs> triple by PKR there on Aghanim. Oh, uh, Cena is actually looking for silvers a little bit more than pink, but pink already done with Aga to an excellent fight there. Yeah, this race is still very close, but uh, the only bit of execution left for PKR is the Ganon fight. But uh, it is going to be a skill-intense Ganon fight. There are no silvers for either runner. So uh, we'll, we'll see how, how these runners choose to approach it, if they're going to go risky and try to get their triples, or if they're just going to do solid, dependable doubles for the uh, final phase of Ganon. 
Yes, but yeah, you, you, the most, the most slashes you can get on Ganon in the last uh, phase when you don't have silvers is three, but it's it is a little bit tricky and risky. So when it comes to uh, safeties, they don't have a lot, but they do have the cape plus um, half magic, which is quite nice for these first this first part of the fight. Yeah, very true. Oh, she's got to be careful. Uh, that's not a cape. That's a lantern. Oh, she's setting up for the uh, the torch glitch. Yeah, I was just expecting her to maybe use the cape, but she didn't. She doesn't need to. She's excellent at this fight, and now she's like after this phase, it's really rare to take damage from Ganon. It's more yeah, it's more uh, common uh, to uh, fall down. Recycle than... uh, uh, Aghanim too, by the way, for Sydney. So uh, he's not he's not making this free. For PKR, she definitely needs to execute on this fight, or she's gonna be in trouble. Okay, so oh. Silver's were in Ganon's tower somewhere. Indeed. So now she's into this last uh, part of the last phase of the fight, which is a little bit longer. She's gonna need 12 spins on Ganon, and that's two, so she's got 10 left. Count with look, Kanban. Yeah, it looks like she's going just for the consistent doubles, which I can respect. It's easy to mess up with triples. Which means that if Cine goes for triples, ah, it's still gonna be really tough. We we almost need a full. Oh, up she got one. the blind sword swing on the on Ganon there. I'm impressed. Still got the damage in. Oh wow! So we don't have her sound. So I, I usually hear it from the sound, but um, yeah, yeah I, that I, is like... because of the way she got knocked back. I'm pretty sure she got the swing there. That that's impressive though. Yeah, wow, because there's only a very, very few frames where you can get deal damage to him. That's why you do the spin because the damage stays for so long. Yep, you have about a half second with the spin, I think. She's getting really close now. She's been, uh, yeah, 12. Yeah, there we oh, go. That was it. Seven. So oh, wow. So that is a dead Ganon as Sinha enters phase four himself. Absolutely incredible. Oh, he does miss. He does miss Lantern Glitch. Oh, that is very unfortunate. This, but anyway, Pink uh, Kitty Rose ending with an official time of. One thirty-six thirty-two. Yeah, get your GGs out in chat. That was this is an incredible race. Comes back with a with a time deficit from checking out early Eastern Palace and is rewarded with a a Canis Samaria fine from the routing. An absolutely crazy race. Indeed, that means that uh, Pink is going to move on to round of sixty-four. I guess we call it. Uh, at least there's 64 people in the next bracket, and uh, Shine unfortunately will not be able to continue this, but he managed to get all the way to the brackets, he managed to get all the way, uh, take a game off of Pink, and he's done an excellent uh, job in this tournament. Yeah, just a really solid player. I mean, anybody that made the bracket stages is definitely a really solid player, and we saw lots of lots of cool tech um, from Sine in this match and, and in the other matches, so uh, definitely a really solid player. Indeed. Oh, and it looks like Sine is maybe giving up hope a little bit here, yeah. <laughs> he, he just wanted to give us a fire show. It was fire bats, you know, la lantern fire. It was the fireworks. It's a spectacle. And I think, yeah, I think I have confirmation that Sine is forfeiting this match. So he will not be completing the Ganon fight. Still, though, a very, very excellent uh, tournament performance by Sine there kept it super close uh, in this third game here, and indeed was ahead for a little bit. It was just that unfortunate Canis and Mario location that just ended up costing him too much time. Indeed. All right, so with that, I think we're going to try and have an interview at least with, uh, with Pink. We'll see if Sina wants to join as well. We have someone here, but I'm not quite sure. Um... That is PKR. We'll see if we can't get her in chat here. I'm just gonna, yeah. But yeah, definitely a real solid showing. It looks like we are uh, joined uh, by Pink Kitty Rose. PKR, congratulations on your uh, victory in the bracket, bracket stage here. Oh, those are one of those ones that doesn't even feel good to finish like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a uh, that was a really really tight. I mean, you guys you guys entered G Tower about what, like a minute difference, and uh, your opponent actually went straight route, right and found the big key early. So, I mean, it was like 30 to 40 seconds difference. It was crazy. Uh, it's just like, here, let's put the 
last two items you need for go mode in two of the worst overworld locations in the entire game, and the mitts were a complete fake out because all they led to was crystals. Yeah, that's true. We were hoping you would find Fire Rod before you found the mitts. So when you found the mitts after the fire, no, before the fire, we were like, oh no, now she's gonna go all over because your opponent did find the Fire Rod quite early on Catfish. Yeah, so we were, I was talking a bit to Sydney about that. It's just like. Ugh, when I saw the fire rod there, I'm just like, oh god, that's gonna make such a difference. <laughs> well, how, what were you thinking when, uh, like, I think the, the choice to go into Eastern Palace early made a lot of sense, especially given the bow and the lantern where they were. Uh, like, were you, did you just feel behind having completed it, only gotten a sword going into the Dark World? Or what, what was going through your mind when you got done with that dungeon? Oh yeah, I definitely wasn't feeling good about that one. I made this stupid mistake that I tried to give myself not to do, which is greeting over Zora money. Because I was way off of it, and it's just like, no, no, I should have just stopped. Done not cared about the stupid fish. It would have increased the value of the catfish check, because then I would have had the mirror to go check Zora at the same time to see what I missed. Would have had the fire rod early, and thus a lot of things would have gotten nicer, but... <laughs> Yeah, you, you kept picking up items and we were playing the game of, all right, what, what item is going to get PKR to go up towards Catfish? She was like, oh, Mushroom, that's sort of in the area. Oh, Book, oh no, a Book is bad. That's not going to get her anywhere close. <laughs> and the real answer was Big Bob. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. Now your opponent, your opponent's uh, go mode would was the cane and he, he basically did the graveyard ledge last of almost anything. So that's where you kind of gained some time, even though you, you had a hard time finding the fire rod. Yeah, it's just like, I saw Kane, and it's like, okay. And then, of course, I go all up hoping that maybe Dark Death Mountain, if there's actually something behind the mitts, maybe, maybe, no. No, you went into Turtle Rock, nothing. At least it stopped me early. <laughs> I, yeah. I did like the Turtle Rock play. I, I think that was uh, a pretty low-cost gamble to make because if Fire Rod had been in there, that would have saved you a ton of time. And, and going in there really quick to check didn't, you know, it wasn't a huge time loss either. The sheer amount of like sweating over the back of Thief's Town and Left Side Swamp the entire seed. <laughs> <laughs> Well, like, I, I uh, felt like after you did Eastern Palace, I, I was like, man, if she goes all the way through to the bottom of Pen and Thieves Town, like that'll, like that will be incredible. Like that would be a, a, an intense mental resolve. I'm just like, no, no, we're not doing it. And then the Argus drops the big key. It's like, so there's two items on the left. Just, I don't want to look. It's not there. It's not there. It's pushing out of my brain. It's not there. <laughs> Well, and, and Swamp betrayed you early, too, because when you went in, I think you found, like, a map or a compass almost right away. So you, you had full knowledge that something, at least one item, was on the left side of Swamp very early. And I normally always jump directly on that when I get an early dungeon item, and it's just like, I feel behind. I gotta try and do it. I gotta try and skip it. <laughs> I don't think any one of you checked left side Swamp. Uh, yeah, no, and in fact, we were, we were worried that Samaria would have been there for both of you, actually. Yeah, yeah. Or we were worried that you might find Quake and go into Mire. Yeah, so, uh, I mean, it was nice of the game to lock Mire for us. <laughs> yeah. What yeah, did you it think was about the? Light in that way. What did you? What did you think about the earlier part of the seed? Oh, you mean the fact that we got a million items and ended up being Agatham again? Pretty yes. Cool. <laughs> you fought like that one cave in in Kakariki Village, giving you all the mobility items in one place. That was pretty crazy. Yeah, I did appreciate the early flume boots. I mean, you can't get much better than that for options of just getting around the light world. And when it's going to make me check everywhere to before Agatham, then I might as well. <laughs> Indeed. All right. Uh, I with that, I think we're gonna wrap this up. Any any last words about the seed or anything you want to share with us, Pink, before we wrap it up? Can we please not have an Agatham seed next time? <laughs> <laughs> how, how do you? I've been getting like hundred of these in a row. <laughs> How you do you just, feel you've about gotten really good at the decision tree for it, I guess, now, right? Just lots of agonim practice. Yeah, at least I had a light this time. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about the next round? I'm, I'm, I'm opening the brackets here, trying to figure out who, you, who you're going to be facing. Oh, it's probably going to be Gemini, and I'm going to go down terribly, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's, it's the I... randomizer. You never know what the randomizer will give you. That's, that's the appeal. Oh, I'm just brimming with self-confidence on this one. Yeah! 
you, you got this. So yeah, so yeah, the the sister match, if you want to call it that, is is Gemini versus Zirtanul, and uh, Pink, you will be then facing the winner of, of those two, and sometime in the near future. So make sure to uh, to not miss that as well. Yeah, those are both solid players. Excellent. So, uh, well, thanks again uh, uh, for the interview, PKR, and congratulations on your bracket victory. Uh, I'm sure you'll be uh, you'll be back to grinding practice seeds uh, for the uh, for next week's matches, right? So doomed. <laughs> I, I would practice uh, uh, more uh, Aghanim Tower because apparently uh, Aghanim loves you. <laughs> she sure does. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, well, uh, thanks again for joining us here on Speed Gaming. If you haven't already, make sure you give the Speed Gaming uh, family of channels a follow. Uh, tons of content on Speed Gaming 1 through 6. Uh, both Link to Pass, Randomizer Bracket, and other things are on here. So uh, make sure you give those guys a follow and check it out. Uh, I have been Files, and I have been joined by my uh, co-commentator, Kanban. Indeed. And thank you for watching, and, uh, and keep playing Zelda. I'll see you guys later.